Hi, I'm Ginger Queener, and I'm the chairman of your Coweta Community Foundation. You know, we've been in existence for nearly 19 years, and people still have no idea who we are and what it is that we really do. So today, I would love to share with you just a few of the people and the organizations that we serve here in Coweta County, where we all call home. We help shelter women and children from domestic violence. We help provide training for the volunteers who help our communities foster children. We help those who need assistance with basic everyday needs. We help provide training to those who help others obtain their GED. We help provide meals to Coweta's seniors. We help with the repair of homes for those who need a helping hand. We provide at-risk youth the opportunity to attend a leadership seminar to learn about health and wellness, values, and how to be great citizens of our community. And through our classroom education grants, we are around you each day. The Coweta County Foundation really allowed our school to enhance and grow our STEM lab. And it's our science lab that I created last summer. The grant allowed us to provide lab tables for all of the students pre-K through five to go in and conduct STEM experiments. STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, are areas that our school really wants to focus on and enhance because they provide our students with real-world education, with real-world problem-solving skills. So this money has allowed us to create that environment for our students and by having those tables, allowing an entire class to go in and explore and learn and grow. So once again, I'd just like to thank the Coweta County Foundation for allowing our school and our students to have this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sheila Billing. I'm a second grade teacher at White Oak Elementary, and I'm here to tell you about a grant that I received from the Coweta Community Foundation. Now, I received this grant to buy iPads for my classroom. We had instituted a program called Hour of Code in the classroom. Hour of Code teaches the students how to code in the program their own games. Now, we know that all students, all children love to play video games. Well, this allows them to program or to create their own game. We didn't have enough iPads for each student to have their own one, so they were sharing. And sometimes that can get to be a little difficult because each one of them want to express their own creativity. After I received the iPads and each student had their own one, their creativity really began to come out. One student in particular, a little boy named Jacob, amazed me. Now, Jacob was a very quiet, reserved student, but once he got that iPad in his hand and began to create his own program, his creativity really came out. He was very enthusiastic about the program. He began to share it with the other students. He even downloaded it at home. So when he came into the classroom, he was ready, and the students began to come to him and ask him, how can I do this? What do I need to do? This brought out so much in him, and it increased his confidence. I cannot thank Weta Community Foundation enough for helping to make an impact on my students, not just for now, but for a lifetime. Thank you, Coweta Community Foundation. Hi, I'm Blair Booth. I'm the engineering and technology teacher at East Coweta Middle School. I received the educational grant for my STEM lesson about alternative energy. Through the Greentown assignment, students learn about solar power. And with the grant, I purchased these solar cars that allow students to create, design, and race solar cars. When the students began building, I saw the sparks of interest flying. Who knows, maybe this little solar car may become the next solar-powered rover to visit Mars or somewhere else in the galaxy. Our future NASA engineers are with us. We just have to spark their interest. Thank you so much for giving me this grant. I really appreciate you making my classroom a success and my students interested in learning. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Robbins. I'm the choral music director at Noonan High School. A few years ago, my students and I were fortunate to receive a grant from the Coweta Community Foundation that we used to purchase a new digital keyboard for our program. 
The keyboard is used in every major concert that we do here at the school, not only for the chorus, but for the entire performing arts department. As such, more than 2,000 students have benefited from the use of the keyboard, either by being part of the program or attending the programs. The keyboard also gets used by individual students who have an opportunity to make use of it to create their own arrangements, as well as to compose their own original compositions. But perhaps the greatest use of the keyboard is in a day-to-day -day function that many of the students don't even notice at first. We're able to use the keyboard to create individual voice part tracks and rehearsal accompaniments that we can then put on CDs or send home through audio files that allows the students to practice at home individually. This has been a great help to the students, empowering them to become more independent musicians and improve the overall chorus dramatically. I'm very grateful to the Coweta Community Foundation for their assistance and their financial support in bringing this keyboard to our classroom. I'm Bob Ramser and I'm the drama director at Noonan High School. In 2014, we had booked the musical Les Miserables a Broadway classic and very challenging material for high school students. In researching the musical and people who have performed in it, I looked at the web page of Gary Morris, the first American to play Valjean on Broadway, and down at the bottom of the page was a little notice, Gary now does master classes with high schoolers. I got on the phone, I started emailing, we made the contact to bring Gary here to work with Noonan High School students, but we couldn't afford it by ourselves. It was through the Coweta Community Foundation that we were able to bring Gary in to work with our kids. On the day that he came in for the workshop, I remember distinctly him walking into the room. They were already rehearsing, and he walked right up on stage and began working as if he had been their director the whole time. My favorite moment was during the rehearsal when Cody, the young actor who was playing Valjean, was singing Bring Him Home, and then Gary started to sing along with him on stage. It was just a great moment and it was magical and it helped to really make the production special for the students and for the community. And it was all due to the help of the Coweta Community Foundation. I'm Debbie Stuckey with the Coweta STEM Institute. And I'm Donald White, Science Content Specialist with Coweta School System and Chairman of the Board of the Coweta STEM Institute. And we have a 3D printer suite. These tools will go into the classrooms and students will be able to use these tools to create on the computer anything their imagination can take them to create. And then they go from that to being able to make use the 3D printers to hold something in their hand. It's absolutely amazing. Something as simple as a hammer or maybe as complex as the Mars rover. And 3D printing is used in almost every field today, whether it's from the arts to engineering to medicine. Maybe they 3D print a sculpture, or maybe they 3D print a heart. We, we don't know what direction the 10,000 students that we come into contact with every year will take us in. How many teachers do we see? Maybe four to 500. The four to 500 teachers that we come into contact with will guide our 10,000 students down the road of 3D printing, and we can't wait to see where they're going to take us. We want to thank the Coweta Community Foundation for their donation that allows us to purchase the 3D printing suite, and can't wait to see the impact. The, that it has on our students. And as you can see, your foundation is not the typical grant-making organization. We have the ability to fund everything from health and human services to the arts, to education, and to everything in between. In January of this year, through your generosity and through others in the community, we were able to award $25,000 in grants to the organizations that I have mentioned and to the four whom you have seen in this video. This $25,000 is estimated to have an impact on over 5,000 Coweta citizens. At the beginning of 2017, also due to your leadership and others, we will be awarding $40,000 in grants to our community, which will include six $750 classroom educational grants that your schools are able to apply for. And your community foundation isn't just about granting money either. We also provide tools and educational resources for our nonprofit agencies and the people of our wonderful community. Through a partnership that we formed this year with the Foundation Center Atlanta, we have provided a grant writing boot camp 
a budget workshop, and an in-house database with training at the foundation offices where nonprofits can come and research grants from all over the country so we can bring dollars home to Coweta. We partnered with the Coweta County District Attorney's Office to offer a community-wide domestic violence symposium and resource fair. We host the annual Big Give, which is our community blood drive in honor of our former board member, the late Dr. Gerald Troutman. We partner with local corporations like Lowe's, where we restored Kids Castle Park, where our community's children spend hours playing each year. We also invest in our community's future board members and philanthropists with our community service team. These students are in your classrooms, and they are learning to serve on a board, award a grant, and to give back to our community through service to others. So why would you want to reach together with us? It's simple. Through our partnership, we support our classrooms and our nonprofit agencies in Coweta County. And with your Coweta Community Foundation, what's raised here stays here in Coweta County.